yeah, as planned, heading around to Lewis's. Should be good. Gonna have some beers and celebrate the first milestone, but also our funding, which we got a while ago now, but we still haven't ever celebrated about it, so. Two birds, one stone, should be a nice day. It feels really good to have this first milestone in. Hopefully everything's up to like the quality they want. More on the paperwork side of things. I hope my train wasn't early because it's meant to be here in a minute. And if I miss it, then I'm gonna be pretty late. Well, I'm not meant to shit, that's it. I'm out here again on my way to Lewis's on this big hill. It defeated me this time as I was carrying a massive box of beers. Back home, got a taxi, had a really good night. It was really good to hang out with Lewis and just chill because we haven't really been able to do that at all. All the type of stuff we have done has been like, oh, we're making a game, let's do it. But tonight it was just, hey, let's drink some beers. And that was quite a nice change. I had a really good night with Lewis last night. I haven't drank that much in ages. It was pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, ended up getting Uber home. Got home like, I don't know, between 12 and 1. But it was pretty good. Finally learned how to use FL Studio and just got to hang out and talk shit, which was nice. Editing last week's vlog at the moment. Um, it's coming along pretty well. I s again recorded too much footage. The uncut version is two and a half hours. And I so far have it down to like 33 minutes. It's almost 11 o'clock at night and I'm going to bed, which is awesome because I haven't done that in ages. I really like staying up late, but sleep and rest seems like a good thing right now. Seeing so I'm planning on going camping in the next few days. I wanted to go tomorrow, but it seems like I might need to wait until not tomorrow, but not the day after the day after that. So that kind of sucks, but it's coming soon. Now sleep. Time to feed her. I haven't fed her yet today. She's all like. Come on, where's my food? You hungry girl? You're a hungry girl, here it comes. <laughs> it was barely on camera. She got it good. Yeah, she went too. A new day has begun. I'm still planning on camping tomorrow, but still got a little bit of a sore throat. Well, not really. My throat's fine, but I can still feel like it's a little bit swollen when I touch it. So I'm just going down to the doctor. Just going to get some meds for that, just so it doesn't get any worse when I'm out there. Luckily, someone just cancelled, and they can squeeze me in a 520, which is in like three and a half hours. I think it might be impossible to get away from work. This week I'm not meant to be working, but I've still done a heap of music stuff, which is really fun to do, but then I'm also having to do a heap of paperwork just to do with our milestone release. I mean, submission, and just answering any questions that they have to, you know, all that kind of stuff. But we got some new music. Maybe. This is a demo piece, we're not sure if we can use it yet. It's just a, we're trying to find some nice feels at the moment. I like this straight away.
Yeah, that's really cool. We're trying to find some less structured pieces at the moment. Anthony knows his shit, though. Finally heading home. Finally heading home from the doctor's. Stopped off at the supermarket and got some stuff for camping. As the doctor signed off on me going camping, which is kind of cool. But, it turns out the reason why I would broken out in pimples and every other health thing I was having going on was all due to stress, the tooth infection, and the flu. Those three things together has just made my body give up. But, I have a good source of antibiotics now. And go on camping. We got gum boots, and we're about to head off. Storm coming, hatchet coming. It looks so cool out here already. I need to go that way. So we made it. Where do we have to head? Down there. That's where everyone else is camping. We gotta head this way to where I like to camp. Brennan's walking me to my camping spot and he's gonna head off. Take the camera for a second, show them. Ridiculous. The get up. Check Set. it out. Got everything you need. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully I'm not carrying all this for nothing. Here we are at the camping spot. Before it's set up. And we had blue skies all day. But now they're going away. Now it's gonna get cold. This area's changed a lot since I was last here. But it will do its job. As long as these trees don't come down on me. Thanks for dropping me off, and I'll see you in a few days. I'll try not to. Take it easy, man. He just fell in the water a second ago. Have a good one. And now, I'm all alone in the bush for the first time in my life. Kind of cool. Well, I've been in the bush by a lot by myself, just never somewhere where I was going to be staying the night. A bit nice plywood. Another bit. I'll show you my part of the wood. I've already got a really good one going. Here's still need to set up the camp. It will look very different than this once I'm set up. Over here, I've got my pile of wood. 
nice and away from my fire. Should probably put on, probably need to get a big bit of wood in a second so I can chuck that on the fire and then not have to worry about fire while I'm setting up. Sun's definitely going down there. So I've got one of these posts so far. Good size post, but I need to get a few more so I can do the tarp. Chuck a bit of wood on the fire and go and find them. Now they have my posts for the tarp. Now I need to get that thing up. just about the rain too. It's good timing. In fact, I think it did just start raining. Now we have a tarp, we have the fire, we got the river. Should be a good night. Still need to set up the hammock. I need to start, decide where I want to do that as well, because all these trees here are dead. So I'm thinking maybe over there between those two trees. We just have to clear out a bit of those bushes. So I'm going to set up the hammock. I use a hammock from a company called Hennessy Hammocks. But I just need to clear out the back so my hammock can actually go up a little bit longer than normal, but that's my hammock. So yeah. And then over here, we got the tarp all set up nice. And the fire, which is in great need of wood. I would normally never make my fire this big, but I figured since I'm by myself, let's have some fun. Fire fun. The fire is going really well at the moment. I've got a time lapse going over here. But yeah, it looks so good. Probably time I get out of bed now. 
It looks quite nice outside. Camp held up well last night. Oh, and I built this rack last night. Just a rack to hold the bin bag, the saw off the ground, the food bag, and my dry clothing, along with the first aid. Just a little shelf with some V cuts of wood. I got some gum boots, so I can walk straight into the river. I think I just found someone's camp. Don't know if they're there or if it's an old camp. Looks cool. Whoops. It's a nice little camp. That's a bit dangerous, you don't really want to use river rocks like that for a fire. Because if you do, they could explode from all the moisture. Um, in a little bit we should walk up to the top of one of these hills and try and get some reception and see if Brennan has tried to contact us at all. He's taking care of my wraps. That cliff, covered in moss, is amazing. But that's where we should go to try and see if we can get reception. It's like up there. I should have put my actual hiking boots on instead of wearing my gum boots. That was a bit silly. Mine or a settlement or something. Interesting. Let's see what the next one was. We got more of these stone walls. Wait. Is that a mine there? Mine. This is like full gold mining territory. Everywhere. It only goes right there and stops. Same with this one, they filled it in. I just didn't feel in this part here. That's really cool. We need to check if we can get reception. So you can see all this rock they've been taking out is quartz. Like this. And it's what they mine and break open to find gold. So that's where you find veins of gold ore in the rock. We made it to the top. It's a lot further than it looks. But look at that view. So yeah, we're sitting on top of that massive um, moss cliff that I was saying we might go and stand on before. Because we're up on the mountain. Everything is so like lush. Over here we've got like a little bag of moss. I'm gonna find different all over the world. But yeah, still can't get over this spot right here. Gonna have to come and explore it properly because yeah, all of these man-made walls, all these mine shafts, 
This stuff would be a hundred years old. I just love all these walls. We'll have to camp in this spot next time. Got some more firewood. And I processed like two trees and all that wood over there. That's a load of firewood. Yay! Feed me! Figured I might as well show you this quickly. So, this here is bad firewood basically. I collected it because it's easy to get, but if you listen to it, it kind of sounds moist when you knock it on things. It doesn't sound like really dense. And well, it is just moist and it's all old and rotten. So it's not going to burn the brightest or the hottest. But this stuff here, as you can see, has a lot of colour in it. And it sounds a lot sharper when you knock it because it's like actually nice and dense and not rotten at all. This is your good firewood. This will burn really nice and hot and nice and bright. Where this stuff Shit. About to lose the sun for the night. I'm in my sleeping bag. I just need to zip it up a bit more. Oh, I'm probably getting it properly too. But yeah, it's pretty good. This stuff shouldn't be above my head. It'll be where I have the camera at the moment. I got little hooks and stuff to hang stuff on. It works out pretty well. Brennan's coming to pick me up today, so need to do a final, explore, have some fun, pack up everything. This is where the fire got to last night. This is the log I chucked on before bed. And it's still got some warmth in it, that's good. Now it's time to get this fire started again. So yeah, all I had to do was chuck everything on top because there's enough residual heat in the coals that hopefully I'll be able to start a fire like this. And so it ignited itself just from the heat left over from last night. I think I might um, charge my phone for a little bit and then go back up to the top of that mountain that we on yesterday. So yeah, oh, I almost forgot I don't have gum boots on and I was just about to walk straight through. But back to just my normal boots now. So that would have been bad. But yeah, it's been a really good trip. Exactly what I needed. Get away from everything, not have to worry about anything besides firewood. It's a good thing. Now back up this mountain. Back at the top, and our camping ground, it's like, right there. We're back at the mines. That's like, they start there. Man, that looks so cool. It's a big pile of rocks I've moved. And that's where we were just up before. I think they'd build all the stone walls so that when they're um, like bringing out all of the stone from the mines, oh, they have places to pile it up and then wall it in. Well, I think we just got lucky. 
There's a mine over here. And then I'll show you what's behind me. Now that's a mine. That's what I was going to show you over here, but that one's open as well. We need to be a bit careful because as you can see there's been some stuff collapsing but I do you want to just have a little look in here. Oh, it looks like they have filled it in. So it goes to, can you see that? It goes just to there and just to there. So yeah, it has been filled in. But man pretty cool. I've never found one that's still this open. It's very silent as soon as you come down in here. Completely quiet. I wonder if this would be structurally safe to camp in. It's like it's been here like I keep saying a hundred years so it hasn't fallen yet but I don't really know much about mining so Going in that far is like pushing it enough, let alone spending a night. Yeah, this one's much bigger. Oh no, it still only just goes to there. just goes around the corner and it's got these like four steps you got that height this height and then that next height interesting these are really cool though I'm happy we came over here and had a look but yeah I was amazed by these stone walls now we found an actual mine. Pretty unreal. Just this little thing. The earth looks so cool in there though, because like, you have all the red from the natural soil, and then all these white parts are all the cracks where all the water has come through and washed out the minerals and just left behind clay. It looks really cool. And seeing they are a high amount of clay, that might actually be the reason they left these ones. What the hell is this? It's like a sponge. Whoa, it is just, it's like a sponge. It's so spongy. Bloomp. And it even rips like a sponge, like... Hear that? Put it back so I don't just kill it, but... I've never seen this. I'm gonna have to look up what it is. Yeah, let's get back to the campground. Maybe you have something to eat pack up and then go over to where Brent will be picking us up from. That wall's awesome because it's covered in moss. I like walls. Now we're back at camp. Still got a heap of heat in that fire so if I just chuck some wood on I can get it going which is cool. I'll do that, have something to eat and I think we're good.